Hey everyone! Today I'm here with an in-depth look into one of Lifetime's upcoming thrillers, Searching for a Serial Killer, The Regina Smith Story. This movie is dropping on Saturday, November 9th, so mark those calendars because you won't want to miss this intense, gritty true crime drama. Lifetime is really diving into some chilling real-life stories this season, and trust me this one is going to have you glued to your seat. So let's break it down. This movie stars Karuji Tran as Regina Smith, a single mom who, against all odds, decides to join the Dallas Police Department. Now Regina isn't your average rookie, she's tough, determined, and ready to tackle a job that's often overwhelming even for seasoned cops. And while being a single mother and a brand new officer is challenging enough, she ends up facing something far more terrifying, a serial killer targeting vulnerable women in her own city. This isn't just any criminal though. We're talking about Charles Albright also known as the Eyeball Killer. Yep, you heard that right. He's a guy who's so sinister that even seasoned detectives are struggling to keep up with him. What's the story behind the Eyeball Killer? Well, Charles Albright was a real-life serial killer who terrorized Dallas in the early 90s, specifically targeting women working as prostitutes. He earned his infamous nickname due to his horrifying practice of surgically removing the eyes of his victims. Lifetime isn't shying away from this chilling detail, and from what I've seen they're handling it with a gritty realistic approach. It's not just another case for Regina, it's one of the most horrific murder sprees Dallas has ever seen. And she's not even been on the job for a full year. Think about that, she's barely had time to settle in when she's thrown into the deep end of the darkest side of humanity. What's super exciting is how Karuji Tran brings Regina to life. She portrays a character who's not just a cop, she's a mom, and her drive to make the world safer for her daughter is so palpable in her performance. Karuji brings this incredible sense of vulnerability and strength. She's this fierce rookie who feels compelled to dive headfirst into the case, even if it means risking everything. And I love how Regina isn't some perfect hero, she's just a woman trying to make a difference in a field that's still male-dominated, especially back in the 90s. It's a powerful reminder of the strength it takes for women to break into roles where they're often underestimated and overlooked. And here's where it gets even more intense. Regina and her partner Eddie, played by Blair Penner, are the ones who actually stumble upon the first victim. Imagine being fresh out of the academy and finding a murder victim in a case that's so chilling, it's going to make national headlines. For Eddie, it's just another tough day on the job, but for Regina, it becomes personal. You can tell she's someone who's not just doing this as part of a day-to-day -day routine, she's genuinely invested. And with Eddie by her side, the two of them make for this dynamic, gritty team. Eddie is experienced and a bit hardened by the job, while Regina is driven by this fire that's just unstoppable. As she digs deeper, Regina starts finding things that the FBI and city detectives completely missed. She's got this fresh perspective, a willingness to look where others haven't, and let's be real, she's got guts. She's facing a killer who's not just brutal, he's calculated. Albright is portrayed by Ted Cole, who nails the cold, detached persona of a man who sees people as disposable. There's something haunting about how he portrays the character, capturing both Albright's normal exterior and the terrifying monster he becomes. The film captures Regina's struggle to balance her duties as a mom and as a cop, all while taking on this case that could endanger her life and her family. The tension is there in every scene, every discovery she makes. And let's not forget, she's taking a risk stepping out of line, especially as a rookie woman in the 90s. The Dallas PD isn't exactly thrilled about her digging around, especially in a case as high-profile as this. But she doesn't back down and that's one of the most inspiring things about her character. Regina is someone who's willing to go against the grain, risk her job, and step out of the traditional role to make a difference, and that's what makes her such a fascinating hero. It's also worth mentioning that the production team went to great lengths to capture the eerie, suspenseful atmosphere of Dallas during Albright's killing spree. The cinematography is moody, almost claustrophobic at times, giving us this constant sense of dread. You're right there with Regina, feeling the weight of the case, the fear and the determination she has to bring this killer to justice. I also think the timing of the release so close to Halloween is perfect. It's the kind of film that sticks with you, that makes you think about the lengths people go to protect their families and the strength it takes to do what's right in the face of evil. Lifetime has really upped its game with this one, diving into a true crime story that's not just about horror but about resilience, courage and the pursuit of justice. 
So if you're into crime dramas, real life heroes, and a story that'll keep you on the edge of your seat, searching for a serial killer, the Regina Smith story is absolutely one to watch. Let's get ready for some serious thrills on Saturday, November 9th.